you're getting better. Th thanks. <sighs> but you're still slow after the parry. Remember to get back into position. Let's take a break. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Good idea. Uh, I've been training since dawn, so a small break wouldn't be a bad idea. <sighs> oh my, Irene, I'm so glad I decided to change back into clothes more suited for this weather. <sighs> Breakfast? Huh? What? Wait. Wh when did you have time to- I- Don't worry about it. You need your strength. <sighs> Thanks. You're thinking about him again, aren't you? What do you mean? Garth. Uh, uh, yes, I was. Aaron, he's been stuck in the Irene dimension for so long, and I don't feel like we're getting any closer to getting him out. Is that what you really want? Of course it is! How can I just leave him there? Even if that means bringing Zane back, too? Yes. I, I know that Zane is dangerous. But with Garth, maybe we could defeat him. We wouldn't need to worry about Zane. Are you prepared to kill Zane? I don't know. I honestly don't want to kill anyone. Afmao, have you ever thought that maybe we'd be safer if we left them there? Oh. What? Aaron, you can't possibly be serious! Leave Garth? Abandon him? After everything he's done for... for me! For us! It's not that simple. I'm saying, shouldn't we honor his last request? It was his choice to save you. All of us. I could think of no higher honor for a guard. He sacrificed himself so that we may live. Shouldn't we respect him by living up to his expectations for us? <sighs> this world is a better place for what he's done. But this land still needs our help too. We can't stop now. But... But I want Garth back. Did you not mention that Hyria told you to persevere? What has happened to you in the past? You need to focus on what's in front of you. The present. You don't mean that. Aren't you stuck in the past as well? Don't you still want to kill Zane? Not a moment goes by that I don't miss my son, my wife, my family. If Zane were here, I'd cut him down without a single thought. Uh, that's what I thought, Aaron. You expect me to listen to you about moving on, yet you still seek revenge? Let me finish. I was living only for my revenge. With Zane now sealed away, I need to let go of this hate. Aaron, can I ask you something? Yes? Why are you still here? If Zane is gone and you can't get your revenge, why have you stayed with us? You could leave whenever you choose, but you haven't. So why? I'm still figuring that out myself. Afmal, there's something- Hey! Travis! Whew, there you are! I've been looking everywhere for you! <sighs> Sorry, Aaron and I were sparring. Um, is everyone ready? Yep. All we're waiting on now is you two. Uh, oh. What about Sasa and Michi? Are they ready to be moved to the ship? Yeah. Lawrence and Caitlin took care of them. Great. So I presume... We're pretty much ready to set sail. Hey, Afmao, I'm a little concerned. 
Huh? What about? You do realize the group we're traveling with is huge. There are 11 people coming with us. Uh, don't you think the boat is a little too small to fit everyone? Don't get me wrong. I sincerely appreciate Lord Levin and Malachi giving us their only ship. However, we don't know how long we're going to be navigating the sea. I've heard stories from the Inki warrior tribe about crews going mad on voyages that are packed. Uh, well, then what do you propose we do? I mean, come on, Travis. The longer we wait, the more the Tula army has a chance to advance on us. If there are refugees from this war, then they're going to need a sanctuary, and I'd like to get started on building that place. I'm just suggesting. Maybe waiting a week or two wouldn't be a bad idea. That would give us enough time to expand the boat a tad. Again, you want the people on the ship to get along. Since we're all going to be building this sanctuary together, after all. <sighs> I hate to admit it, but you have a point. <sighs> okay, maybe, maybe putting off the trip for a few days to expand the ship would be ideal. I just, I really don't want to, Travis. I know. If there's anything I can do to make you feel better about this, I'm fine, Travis. I just need to think. Anything at all. <laughs> Again, I'm fine. Anything. Uh, uh, Travis. <sighs> Why don't you head back to tell the others of Aphmau's decision to stay here for a bit longer? Uh, uh, ah! Jeez, I forgot you were here. <sighs> fine. Again, Aphmau, if you need anything, let me know. And I'm not being flirtatious this time. I really care about everyone here. Even if it might not seem like it at times. Travis. <sighs> He's an odd one, I'll give him that. His demeanor changes so fast. It's not even funny. Does it bother you? Not really. I feel like that's his way to kind of cope with whatever he's got going on. Plus, if anything, he's playful, and I honestly don't see him as a threat to anyone. In any case, Aaron, I need to go speak with everyone about this change of plans. Are you sure? Yeah. If it was just the lot of our crew, like, maybe three or four people, then I'd be fine. However, with Michi and Sasha aboard, I'd rather not risk it. Especially with Sasha. Lawrence is going through some really rough times as a Shadow Knight right now, and the last thing I need for her to do is get under his skin and cause more tension on the boat. <sighs> Understandable. I'll meet up with you later then. Mm -hmm. If something changes, I'll come back and find you. Thanks again. <sighs> that sparring really took a lot out of me. <sighs> Jeez. Uh, Lawrence, Aphmau. I just heard word from Travis. Are you serious about holding off on the voyage? <sighs> yes. It's really a tough call for me to make, but I feel that it would be in everybody's best interest if- Did someone say tough? Uh, ch Chad? Uh, oh my Irene. Aha! Miss Afmau, I couldn't help but overhear the little dilemma going on. Uh, I come to you with a proposition to solve it. R really? No way! Yes way, which is the right way. Come, follow me and you will see! Wait, what? Wait, but- Chad! Wait up! Pre <sighs> Jeez, that old man can run fast. <sighs> uh, Chad, you zigzagged so much I lost Lawrence in the forest! Aha! I see you were able to keep up with me. Uh, uh, Chad, this is not a boat at quite the sight, isn't it? It's a shame I don't have the materials to- Chad, stop. I'm sorry, but this is not 
what we're looking for at all. This is not something to joke about either, it just... I don't know why I thought you had something that could actually help. Excuse me? How dare you call this vessel a joke? I'm offended! Uh, Chad, look at it. It's a dinky box. What? How dare you? Oh, wait, you mean this dinky box? Uh, yes, Chad, that dinky box. <laughs> oh, well, of course, that's a dinky box. What do you think, I'm mad? No, 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 no. The vessel I'm speaking of is over there. Over what? Over... What? Huh? Wait. Are you serious? <laughs> no way! What? Are... I... Surprised, eh? Of course you would be. I, Chad G. Augustine L. Leopold III, wouldn't dream of suggesting anything less than the best. <laughs> Ch Chad! This is wonderful! Well, it should be. I've spent a good portion of my lifetime working on this idea! Oh, whoa. Uh... <sighs> However, it's not exactly what I want it to be just yet. W what do you mean? This is a beautiful ship! Yes, but it could be better. In any case, you're the first person who's tolerated this old man, and as thanks, I give you the use of this ship. Uh... However, I do need it back once we land. I still need to work on my invention, and this ship is a major component to that. What? Uh, of course, Chad. This... I don't know what to say, this is amazing! Uh, uh, thank you! We're truly in your debt. Again, think nothing of it. Now, shall we sell this boat to the docks of Phoenix Drop? <sighs> Absolutely. We can start loading supplies for the new settlement aboard. Uh, pardon me for asking, but... Does the ship have a cell for captives? It indeed does! <laughs> Good. I'm not sure if anyone had told you, but we're looking to take Sasha and Michi along with us as prisoner for, um, just the fact that they're... <sighs> ah! Prisoners! I'll prepare the cell! Uh, wait. Uh, uh <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, all right, well, Chad, you do that. Wait, uh, Ch um, okay, do as you must. Chad away! All right, uh, he just ran off without me there, but, um, I'm gonna go tell the others the ship is gonna be docking. That way they won't think that anyone is invading because they don't recognize it. I can't believe he hid it all the way over here. Jeez. <laughs> what a crazy yet brilliant guy. Lawrence! Hey! Afmao, I lost you in the woods chasing Chad. Are you okay? <laughs> I am perfectly fine. Chad just gave us the solution to our ship problem. Oh? <laughs> he had a ship tucked away on the shore on the outskirts of Phoenix Drop near the ice statue of Lady Irene. R really? That's wonderful! <laughs> Isn't it? He's headed here to dock it, so we want to make sure that everyone knows. Right away. That's wonderful to hear. Uh, Levin. Uh, I was worried. I knew how badly you said you wanted to get to that island. Then after hearing what Travis had to say, I felt bad. Uh, it's not an issue, Levin. You've helped us enough already. With supplies and materials. Honestly, I would feel terrible if I had taken your last ship from Phoenix Drop. We wouldn't have minded. We know how important you are to winning this upcoming war. Uh, what do you mean? Don't you think war's on the horizon? Between the regions? It's a possibility, Levin, but... For now, we can only assume that the conflict is in Ocasus. That is until we hear that other villages have been taken over. And not just the neighboring villages to Ocasus. I'd rather prepare than not. And I agree. But try not to let the idea of war loom over your head too much. You don't want to scare everyone here in the village. You're right. It's just... Uh, it's 
hard not to show concern. I know, Levin. But we have to. Yes. Speaking of which, Mom. Mm? Are you sure about taking Sasha and Michi along with you? We can manage them here. No, Levin. Having them here while Phoenix Drop is trying to rebuild is a burden. We can keep them prisoner with us. We have enough people to keep them in check. Plus, they're both rightfully my prisoners, seeing as I'm the one who brought them in. Only if you're sure about this. I'm positive. Very much. Uh, uh, huh? Can we just... Leave, Michi. <laughs> what? Scared of her? T no. She just... I don't like her at all. I understand, Lawrence, but she is our responsibility. Honestly, I'm glad you found a bigger ship. Thinking about things now, you're taking 11 people with you. <sighs> yeah. Lawrence, Caitlin... Aaron, Vlad, Travis, Isabel, Lucinda, Sasa, Michi, oh, and my two dogs. So yeah. Uh, we might need to get more supplies ready for you. We want you guys to get a good start after all. I'll go see what Logan and Yip can find. Uh, Levin, wait! I- <sighs> There he goes. <sighs> my son. Afmal, you should let him do this. You've been almost holding his hand for a good portion of the time we've been here. Let him make his choices and follow through with them on his own. Yes, but, but, he's, he's still my baby, Lawrence. see him grow. You did, Atmel. You see him before you. And he's grown into a fine young man. <laughs> <clears throat> he has, <laughs> hasn't he? Very much so. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, Lawrence. Our ship will be docking soon. Let's get what we need and set sail first thing in the morning. I'll let everyone know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs>